वेलकम टू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन एट विद्यालंकर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस डिपार्टमेंट वी हैव टेकन दिस न्यू इनिशिएटिव टू स्टार्ट आवर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल वी आर गोइंग टू अपलोड ऑल ओवर एक्सपेरिमेंट्स वीडियो वैल्यू एडेड कोर्स वीडियो और एनी अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट वीडियोज दिस मटीरियल विल बी अवेलेबल टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स इन मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी एंड दिस मटीरियल विल हेल्प स्टूडेंट्स Uh, to enhance their learning not just in their classroom but even outside the classroom i hope that everyone will uh, like this our effort and in case of any query comments anything they can put it in the comment box thank you now the bls lab now let's look into the half adder implementation here we can look the lookup table of half adder well Uh, sum is nothing but xor of the inputs a and b and carry is nothing but and of the equation of the inputs a and b the equation for sum is this and the equation for carry is this now if we give a clearer look we will see that this is xor so the implementation of the sum in cmos would be nothing but the xor implementation as we have known as we have seen in the previous video now let's look into the carry equation Here we can see that the carry is nothing but and of a and b. And is a dot b. As we know that the output of CMOS is inverted. Let's let us invert this equation twice to get the carry itself. Here we can see applying after applying De Morgan's equation, we get a bar plus b bar. Now a bar plus b bar must be like implemented in CMOS. So here a bar and b bar are in series in NMOS and are in parallel in the PMOS. This is the this would give the output of C as A dot B. That is and of A input A and B. Now let's look this into the stick diagram. Thank you. In the stick diagram implementation of half adder, uh, we have seen the equations for sum and carry of a half adder. Uh, also, we have seen the CMOS implementation of sum and carry. We have also noticed that sum is nothing but XOR and carry is nothing but and. So the stick implementation of sum would be nothing but XOR. So here we can see that the, that the loop applied is a bar b b bar a. Here to a bar b b bar a. Uh, the stick implementation of XOR would be the same as we have seen in the previous video. This is the implementation till here for an XOR video XOR uh, gate. Here would be the n well in which the PMOS lies. Now taking into now taking uh, carry into consideration, the carry is nothing but and. Uh, for an AND input in the CMOS, the inputs are A bar and B bar. So the A bar of the uh, XOR would be extended for the carry operation, and the B bar would also be ex uh, extended. Uh, here, this blue is in, this blue again indicates VCC, whereas this metal indicates ground. The P diffusion and N diffusion are applied uh, for the corresponding outputs of the carry. Uh, here we can see that D2 is connected to D3 and D4. So D2 is connected to D3 and D4, whereas S1 is connected to VCC and S3, S4 is connected to S3 and S4 are connected to ground. Uh, so the, the output obtained would be carry from this stick diagram, and the output obtained would be sum from this diagram. Now let's look into the microwave implementation of half adder. Let's look into the layout implementation of half adder. Here we can see that the layout implementation of half adder in microwind is similar to the stick diagram we have just seen. Uh, the upper stick diagram that we can see is for the sum operation, whereas the lower stick diagram or the lower layout uh, is for the carries. Uh, four polysilicons are required with inputs A bar, B, B bar, and A. Uh, for carry operation, the polysilicons with input A bar and B bar are required. So we have extended A bar and B bar polysilicons. Uh, two metals for VCC and grounds are required for uh, some. Uh, two metals VCC and ground are similarly required for carry operation. Uh, let us give VCC and ground. We know that this is A bar and this is A. So let us first give the input clock to A. Let's name it as A. This uh, polysilicon is with input B. Input 
B. Whereas this policy lexicon here is with input B bar. Last. Uh, the output would be given for sum here. Let us name it as S. And the output for the carry would be here. Let us name it C. Uh, VDDs are also given to the N wells, so let us give that VDD. Mm -hmm. uh, now let's look into the output of this uh, half adder. Here we can see the output uh, when A is 0 and B is 1, the carry obtained is 0 and the sum obtained is 1. So it is right according to the lookup table. Uh, when A is 1, and B is also 1, the carry is 1 whereas the sum is 0. So this output obtained is correct. So now this is all about half adder. Uh, thank you.